Russia, man. Oh, come on. You really need this. Are you going to take notes? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome everybody, players, media, uh, Chase. Guys, thanks for coming, teammates. I didn't know you guys were going to be in here. Very cool of you. Um, obviously, there's a lot of speculation why I, of all people, would call a, a press conference. Um, just want you guys to know that uh, I've signed a five-year extension here with the Dodgers. <laughs> No, on, the, uh, on a real note, um, I think everybody pretty much has it figured out, but at the end of this year, I'm going to retire, um, and I'm, I'm excited about that opportunity. I uh, came over here and uh, transitioned into a, a part-time player, um, something that was new for me, but uh, I took it in stride, and I'm also a part-time strength coach, part-time pitching coach, um, occasionally a part-time catching coach, as well as a part-time general manager. Uh, but the thing I'm having the most difficult time with is, is being a part-time dad. So that's really the reason why I'm shutting it down, because I'm ready to, to be a full-time dad. So it's, it is a difficult decision, um, but it's one that I'm, I'm comfortable with. A few weeks after announcing his retirement, 39-year-old Chase Utley is returning to the city where he spent the first 13 years of his major league career. My experiences coming back here as a visiting player have been pretty special. You know, the fans have really treated me amazing. Um, this time is going to be a little bit different because essentially this is the last time I'm going to have an opportunity to play in front of them. So uh, it's a little bittersweet, um, but I'm, I'm excited to, to see him. Um, I wanted them to know that this was going to be the last time. Um, so it's going to be an exciting, exciting series, probably a fairly emotional uh, few games. It's going to be difficult here because of the time that I spent here, the special times that I had. Um, so I'm going to try to do my best to stay locked in and stay focused, but um, I'm not sure how, how I'm going to respond um, because I know it's the last time I'm going to have an opportunity to play at a beautiful stadium and, and in front of some amazing fans that uh, we had so many good times together. So it'll be interesting to see how it, how it unfolds. Um, I'm excited for it. It's in, I mean, I think it's going to be fairly emotional too for my wife because she essentially was part of it here with me. This is, brings you back so many memories. The memories of the sweat. You feel like you're in an oven walking into the stadium. Wow. New bell. New rug. It's a new rug. What's up, everybody? How's it going? Chase, when you, you made your announcement, about 10 days ago, right. was this trip here at Citizens Bank Park kind of in the back of your mind when you were announced? 100%. Uh, I've been thinking about this for a while now and um, trying to figure out how I kind of wanted to go out. And uh, I thought it was important to, to let the Philadelphia Philly fans know that this is going to be the last time that I'm going to have a chance to play in this ballpark. Um, so yeah, it was a huge factor in uh, the timing of the announcement. Playing the game the right way. That's that's all that I would that really matters to me. That I that every single day I I played the game the right way to win. Cool. Thank you guys. Good seeing you. See you around. Thanks, guys. Oh man, it's over. Thank you. Thank you. God, this is great. I feel like president right now. It's amazing.
You had said that you were tired of being a part-time dad, wanted to be a full-time dad to both Max and Ben. Are they understanding the concept that after this year is over and that uh, dad's going to be around a lot more? Yeah, I, I explained it to him the other day. My oldest said, well, then what are you going to do every day? <laughs> so, he, you know, I, and I don't know what I'm going to do every day either, but we're going to, we'll figure that out together. Chase the ball player versus chase the dad, they're, they're a lot different, to be honest with you. Uh, I mean, the baseball player, focused, I'm intense. Uh, I kind of have blinders on, if you will, uh, for the most part. Um, and I, I'm not like that around my kids. I don't, I don't have a choice, to be honest with you. I can't put blinders up. I can't ignore them. They won't even let me ignore them if I tried. Um, a lot more fun, a lot more, uh, a lot more smiles on my face when I'm around my boys. I want a ball too. Our sons are six and a half and three and a half, and so you know, in the beginning when they were kind of babies, it was Chase was gone, and to be like, "Hi, baby," and that was fine. But now the boys are demanding his time, demanding his attention. They're interested in baseball. They're interested in swimming. They're interested in music, dance, you know, whatever it is they are now. And they're, um, they want him to be a part of it. So I think they are a massive uh, piece of his decision to kind of be involved in their lives before he misses out on all these younger moments. Past probably year and a half, you know, I've, I've thought about um, when the right time was to, to retire. And this year is really when it hit home for me when I wasn't able to go to my son's t-ball games. They were f every Friday, four o'clock or six o'clock. Clearly, you know, that's right in the middle of our batting practice um, at Dodger Stadium. So he would tell me about the games. I had my wife, you know, send me video of the games, but I wasn't really there. And that, that hurt a little bit because I know he wanted me there and he kept asking me why I couldn't show up. So that's when I really realized I was missing out on some opportunities that uh, I didn't want to. So that was when I really dug down deep and talked to my wife and made the decision. Great, thank you. Thank you. All right, love you. Yeah, yeah, we're going to Come on, let's go up, guys. It has been an interesting day for Chase Utley. As you might imagine, it's been all about the man here in Philadelphia and what could very well be his final trip to this park and this city, the place where it all began 13 years ago. There should be a fun few days watching this crowd react to one of their favorites. I don't think Ben, I mean, I think he sort of realized that Chase was a baseball player. I think that he's realizing maybe a little bit of the caliber of his career. He's seeing Utley t-shirts, which are a rarity in Los Angeles, but they are not in Philadelphia. And so I think to him, he's sort of like, why does everybody know my dad here? Daddy's up next. He's right there on the This is a massive part of, I mean, this was our whole life until now. Um, with baseball, so for him to recognize it and be able to remember this when he's older um, is really special for, I think, our whole family. And that brings up Chase Utley. Chase Utley. professional athlete uh, is not as easy as someone may think and uh, especially when it comes to running your life away from the field and you know having Jen uh, being my backbone you know without her I wouldn't be in this position I wouldn't be able to focus as much on baseball uh, as I have been able to with without her she's been a huge support system um, and having two boys makes it even more difficult uh, for her and she's she's done it in stride um, and I love her for it. A full count pitch. Utley hits a fly ball to left center field. 
That ball's back to the warning track and caught by Herrera. <laughs> I'm not sure they, they totally understand the reason I'm retiring is really because of them. Um, and that's okay. Yeah, they, don't, they don't need to know that at this point. Um, but I'm just glad that they had the opportunity to, uh, to kind of take it all in and see it. Will they remember it? I'm not quite sure. I really hope they do. Um, but they definitely recognize the amount of support that I was getting in Philadelphia. We'll say one final goodbye. I wave to the Phillies fans. I got to tell you, that's really cool. Yeah. Being a full-time dad, I'm not sure what to what to expect, um, but I am excited to 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 go to little league games or basketball games or soccer games or whatever whatever they want to do. Um, I'm excited that I'm gonna have the opportunity to be there. Um, maybe have some summer vacations that I haven't had in 20 years. Uh, I know my wife is definitely looking forward to that. So it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be fun, and, and I'm looking forward to it.